a homecoming more than eight months in the making. Fantastic <laughs> to see these guys. We've been waiting a long time. The Northern Territory's hard border with metropolitan Melbourne lifted today, the first time people could travel freely between the NT and all of Australia since March. We've got nine months to catch up uh, on everything. Um, hopefully ice skating, fishing, Luxa, Luxa <laughs> wave pool, movies, yeah. everything I think. Interstate travellers will still be screened upon arrival and authorities will stay at airports and road borders for now. A small price to pay for these grateful families. Yeah, it feels good. I obviously miss them all so much. <laughs> yeah. Excited to see these little yeah, fellas too. Excited. Yeah, these boys have grown a bit, so yeah. he's been running amok. Yeah, he's been very excited. To guard against the virus also crossing the border, the Northern Territory Government today rolled out a new contact tracing system. A long list of venues is now required to record the name and contact details of anybody staying for longer than 15 minutes. But there was a significant hiccup. The government app designed to support the changes was nowhere to be found for iPhone users. I'm advised that uh, it's in the final stages. Uh, it has been Thanksgiving in America where these systems are signed off. So we're very hopeful that it will be live uh, today, uh, but I've been advised certainly by the end of the week. Some people come and ask for that and some people have no idea about it. So we try to explain the people, we have to get the app. Some hospitality venues said they were unsure of their obligations while they waited for the app to come online. Others turned to more traditional methods. We're just using a simple pen and paper system, just write down the name and the contact number. As the government assured Territorians those teething issues would be resolved, the opposition accused it of letting small businesses down. And the only Territory enterprise that is not implementing the measures of its own restrictions is the Gunner government. The government says it will take an educational approach at first, but any venues breaking the new rules could face hefty fines. A significant step towards our new normal. Jessie Thompson, ABC News.